In this video, we will look into SQL Q and J part 22. And one is order date in the calendar year order. Actually, order the we want the order the months because months will be in the alphabetical order. So let us consider the table order date from adventure works sales or sales order header. So if I execute this now, we will get these order dates. So let me rearrange this. And we take the order uh, date name, get the month, mm, then the order date. as month name so if we select this we'll get the month names here what months they are so for this we add the listing because it's repeating distinct So we got these month names. Now if we order it, order by date name mm as a month name, and here instead of order date, we will just take the year, year of order date. Here, so if I execute this now, we get this uh, all the years. So let us take one year, May year is equal to twenty eleven. This will reduce the number of uh, main records so that we can easily understand the concept where for e year of order date is equal to 2011 if i execute this so we have these month names in the order of the alphabetical order so a d j j u l and j u n m and so these are in the alphabetical order but we want these months in the calendar year order so for that what we have to do so let us take the same query a so that we can make the modification here we can tag this query now this now i'll add month now here month of for a date this is month now so if i add the month now then I'll get in the order of the month num that is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got this May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So we don't want this to display this month num. So what I do is I'll take it in CTE with CTE as and everything comes in this CTE. 
then I say select we need the wire here comma month name from city and we don't want to display this month now so select here month name from city I execute this now we got May, June, July, August, September, November, December. So that's how we can uh, change this uh, alphabetical order to calendar uh, year order of the months by using this query. Now we will pass a string. Let us consider this uh, column in sales order writer credit card approval code. This code has got uh, this VI in between the two numbers. There is a VI everywhere in between these two numbers. So we want to separate these numbers, ignoring this VI. You want to get this number and this number on the right side of it and the left, left side of it. So let us write the query for that. So this one take as it is this credit card approval. That's what comparison purposes. And now we have to find out this VI. So there is a pat index. Pat index, we can search a pattern with the pat index. So pat index, we want to search letters A to Z. So we want to search letters A to Z. If it is in square brackets, then we want any letter between A to Z to be searched because we have these letters V I here. And then the expression is this credit card approval code. This will give us the position where that V I starts. Now, if I execute this, you can see that uh, position is 7 here. That means 1, 0, 5, 0, 4, 1, or 6 uh, digits. Then V starts. That is starting at the 7th position. So we know now the position of uh, that VI now. Now, let us find the length of the whole string. What is the length of this whole string? You know the length of the whole string and uh, subtract uh, this part uh, up to VI, we get the right side number. Just do the calculations first and then we can find the number. Length of this credit card approval code. Name it L. Execute this now. So there are 13 characters here. 13 characters or digits here. So from 13, if we subtract this 7 plus, 7th position is V and plus 1 is I. We subtract 7 plus 1, then we will get the right side number. For the right side the left side number we have to start from the beginning up to this position of v so let us first see the left side number now for extracting a string we use the substring substring takes three parameters the expression itself is credit card approval code 
and starting from which position you want starting from the first first position up to the this position that is fat index this top and here up to this position this will include v2 let us check and then we can make that change so this includes v so this pad index of so this uh, is a position 7 position 7 is v so we have to remove this v so minus one if we go a letter i mean or a digit backward then we will get up to the position v so we got one zero five zero four one so we didn't get vi here so let us name this one one And say num one is this. Now num two. We want this one. That for that have the substring of in this comma here. So that's why this help didn't come here. Substring of we need the credit card approval code. Just copy this and starting from 8, we need these characters. Starting from 8, mean we are starting uh, at uh, this, uh, I mean, pat index this position plus 2. So, pat index of uh, this and this is the pad index position is this one b plus one is i plus two is eight from there from there till what point we need it we need it up to the end of this uh, string so from the total length of the string if we subtract up to this i we will get the number of uh, digits here so from length of approval code if i subtract this pad index position plus one plus one is i so i if i subtract then i will get the other number so pat index position plus one pad index position is would be v and plus one would be up to i so here starting from this position that is pad index plus 2 that is starting from 8 we want this length of the string minus up to the position i so if i execute this now so we got this 841 so if you see this 105041 and vi got eliminated and the second number is 84182 you can name this uh, two and execute it this is num1 and num2 that's how you can parse a string if you like the video, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button.
for notifications on upcoming videos please click on the bell icon